Now, because I live in the southern hemisphere and my washing machine turns clockwise and is situated west-east across the horizon and the earth being on 23 and a half degrees and also due to factors of the time of day, time of year and galactic spin, I predominantly lose left socks, but you might lose right socks, situations will vary. A physics primer. In the study of motion, we have conjugate motion of force in motion, space and counter space. Centrifugal divergence and centripetal convergence form a reciprocating precessional hyperboloid. In the direct observation of water draining a bath, while the water spins in one direction, the wave spins hyperbolically in both directions simultaneously. In the traditional explanation of a bar magnet, the field lines describe but do not explain why the magnets are drawn to each other. However, an end view examination of a bar magnet reveals the magnetic spatial counterspatial vortex. Obviously, the simplex pressure mediation of space and counterspace leads the magnets to fall into each other. Everybody is familiar with how microwave oven works. The polar molecules are excited by the electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic waves. The problem is, is that the interaction of the electromagnetic radiation created by the spinning socks in the water while interacting with the spin vortex forms a grand unified structural water electromagnetic spin vortex quantum vacuum energy ZPE trans dimensional stargate which of course leads all of the socks to be left out in space. If you look deep into the Diamond Nebula, you'll find that it is actually very carefully made up of a, a large structure of lost socks, both left and right socks actually.